Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Ray Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is March 27, 2024, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the U.S. market slide lower. Now, not a major volume, but they did. Now, looking at today, no major economic events scheduled. So the markets are really trading on lighter volume almost across the board, so not a lot of activity. When we look at the Forex symbols, the major pairs are unchanged. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ towards the end of the day slid lower. And looking at commodities, gold unchanged while oil also sliding lower to $80 a barrel. Now looking at stocks, completely reversed environment. Most of the market did slide lower. However, NVIDIA did sell off while Tesla bouncing on the upside. Interesting environment there. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies also remains unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, starting out with the Forex symbols, not doing much, so that's just a precursor, so just manage expectations when it comes to the Forex symbols. We're pretty much in a consolidating environment, almost across the board. So with that said, well, I do expect some activity today and tomorrow, but not that much because things have been like all factored in. Next month, we do have a lot more news coming out, especially as we're hitting April, which is economic calendar, big time for the year. So that's something to anticipate as we're going in towards the end of March. So keep that in mind that we may see some things a little bit lighter than expected trading. Okay, <clears throat> starting out with the euro, you're really at our baseline here. Okay, at that 200 day moving average, 108.30 in between 109.36 and 108 ish level. So nothing really doing here. Okay, right in the middle. GBP USD also just bounced off of it. Let's see if it does test that low again. And if it does test it on the downside and breaks, that's really a major, major play as that may develop into something as well. Now looking at the Australian dollar, same thing as well. And jumping into the Japanese yen, which has been our trademark, which has been really the benchmark also on its lows, but hasn't really traded any more than that. That's all I'm gonna do when it comes to the Forex symbols, pretty much everything else is the same. Now looking at gold also, it's gone to its highs. It's still sticking here, it hasn't retraced. So I do anticipate some sort of correction here, either on the downside, okay, at a certain point, or we may see itself break out, but it's been really not breaking out, okay? It's really been, you know, kind of struggling, holding off that line above 2189. So keep that in mind as this may still correct itself on the downside. Now looking at oil, we did slide a little bit lower to 80.84. Again, 20, 30 cents is not a big deal, but it's sliding, okay? It does hit a minor supportish level right here, okay? At that 80.55-ish level, so keep that in mind. And if that breaches, we may see it go lower. Now looking at the Dow Jones, we just trickled lower yesterday. That's not a fair chart, but if we look at a daily chart, that was where we were at, okay? All intents and purposes, it looks like we actually bounced off, but this is bouncing this morning, so keep that in mind as well. So looking at the NASDAQ also, we're still in an upwards momentum. However you'd like to break it, we might be tapering off from our, our, our upwards trend, but we're still in an upwards trend momentum. Now let's take a look at the individual stocks. So the ones that are jumping out to me is Tesla. Tesla actually gapped up yesterday, if we look at that, there you go. 184 ended up the day at 177. Okay, so it may, okay, keep this in mind, close the gap. And if it does close the gap, that's a bullish kind of pattern, and we may see it actually recover at some point, okay? However, it's been reluctant to break lower this 161, and so I do anticipate some sort of movement in it, okay, as this is still in play. Now, J uh, the JP Morgan yesterday did advance for most of the day, but then towards the end of the day, did slide lower, okay? So that's another thing that has been going. Now looking at NVIDIA, which sold off yesterday, a little bit more aggressively, another 25 points. If you see that from 940, 950-ish level down to 924. Now we are consolidating here. It's not the end of the world, okay? NVIDIA is gonna come out with its next quarterly earning reports. And a lot is really based on its AI looking forward. 
So the individual stocks, besides that, Microsoft did slide just a little bit to 421 off of its 430 high. So markets are really consolidating here. Okay, it's not, I, I can't call it a sell-off. I call it a slide. So yeah, did it show weakness for, for a day? Yeah, but does that mean that it's over? No. So keep that in mind as that still is the case. Now, lastly, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin really set not doing much okay also unchanged okay so markets are really consolidating i can't say that enough okay so until something actually happens either on the upside or the downside just stay put okay we may go in either direction here as things are still unfolding tomorrow we have some economic data coming out and next month like i said we've got a lot of corporate earnings so keep that in mind this is fed Razak. i want to wish you guys a great training day thank you